The tools you will need are an adjustable spanner, a 2.5mm hex key, a small flat head screwdriver and a thermometer. Put the plug in to ensure nothing gets lost. Please note that dependent upon the version of the shower valve, the thermostatic cartridge may either be constructed from brass or polymer. If the thermostatic cartridge is constructed of brass, then please refer to the brass cartridge version of this video. Remove the handles using the hex key. You'll need to remove the handle prong to access the grub screw on the thermostatic handle. Remove the temperature stop ring. Remove the faceplate retaining rings and the faceplate itself. Isolate your water supply by screwing the isolator screws clockwise until you start to feel a resistance. Be careful not to over tighten. To ensure isolation has been successful, carry out the following procedure. Turn the shower on, taking care to ensure that no part of your body is under the water outlet, as there is a potential for delivery of hot water. With the shower in the on position, replace the temperature handle on the thermostatic valve. Turn the temperature handle fully anti-clockwise until you feel a definite stop position and it can be turned no further. Then turn the temperature handle fully clockwise until you feel a stop point. Again, ensure that no part of your body is under the water outlet as there is a potential for delivery of hot water. At this stage, if no water is coming from the shower outlet, isolation has been successful. You may now carry out the required maintenance to your valve. If water continues to flow at any stage of the isolation process, it will be necessary to isolate at an alternative point in the system for both hot and cold water supplies and repeat the isolation process. Loosen the grub screw using the hex key. Remove the cartridge by using a set of suitable pliers, taking care not to damage the cartridge spline. Rinse or soak in descaler as necessary. To replace, check the valve housing to ensure that no debris is left. Flush if necessary. Grease the O-rings on the thermostatic cartridge using a suitable silicon lubricant. Insert the cartridge into the valve housing with the grub screw tapping lining up with the hole in the underside of the body. Insert the grub screw and tighten using the hex key until secure. Undo the isolation screws until the screw sits just proud of the surface of the hex nuts. Check for any leaks around the thermostatic cartridge. Replace the valve shrouds, face plates and securing rings. You'll now need to calibrate the cartridge. Turn the valve on and ensure the temperature control handle is turned fully clockwise into the cold position.
hold the thermometer under the water flow and gradually turn the handle anti-clockwise until you achieve 38 degrees and sustain it at this temperature. Turn the shower off. Tighten the grub screw using the hex key. Replace the temperature stop ring with the stop point at 12 o'clock, taking care not to move the cartridge spline. Replace the thermostatic handle with the stop button also pointing to 12 o'clock. Tighten the grub screw using the hex key. Replace the prong. Recheck the temperature to ensure that calibration has been successful. 